So I think people are still reeling from your film and we're still watching the credits here on screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the first thing I want to ask, um, you know, from watching this film um, or from audiences' familiarity with some of your uh, older films, such as uh, Saitama no Rappa um, or other titles, you clearly have a strong influence in uh, American music uh, and American cinema. Um, so I'm wondering, when you come to New York um, to show your films or as a visitor, what do you want to do? <laughs> In New York? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday I went to Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Today, <laughs> uh, I went to Museum of Moving Image. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. <laughs> um, ate Italian food <laughs> and Mexicans. But, mm -hmm. uh, mm. 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 なんですかね。こう自分の国以外のところでこうやって映画を見ていただくっていうのはすごい嬉しいことなので、ぜひ今日はお客さんのご感想を聞きたいなと思います。But um, I'm very fortunate that my film is shown outside of my own country. I think it's a great experience, so I can't wait to hear on what you all thought of the film. Okay, great. So before I open um, the questions up to the audience, um, I'd just like to ask a, a few more questions. Um, I'm wondering what drew you to this uh, project originally? Um, a familiarity with the Koji Yanagi novel, um, or just an interest in uh, the spy film genre in general? I see a lot of uh, traces of James Bond, um, the Jason Bourne series, and Mission Impossible, and Brian De Palma. あの、日本ではスパイ映画を作るのがスパイ映画ってほとんどないんですね。In uh, Japan it's very rare for um spy film, spy genre to be made. で、今回あのスパイ映画を日本で作ろうっていう企画が動いて、入江くんスパイが好きって言われたんで、大好きですと答えてやることになりました。so when, when this project came to me of the opportunity to make a spy film in Japan and they asked me, well, uh, director area, do you like spy films? I said, of course. Because Mission Impossible series, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. 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 Um, and I've always admired American spy thrillers, spy films, so I wanted to make one myself. No, I think the um, the ending of this film is just so exciting, and we have this uh, almost leap from reality as the flame moves down uh, the gunpowder towards the explosions and is uh, bridged by the photo that falls on it. Um, and the filmmaking is at such a level that I think the audience is really ready to go with you wherever you like. Um, but I have a specific question about the very ending of the film. Um, and there's almost two endings, the fun car chase, which almost seems like it's about to lead to a sequel, and then a kind of dark warning from uh, Colonel Iki, uh, Isaya-san's character, um, in which he warns about war and the future and peace. And I'm wondering why you decided to have these two endings, a very fun ending, and then a very serious and in many ways political ending. Mm. So I think one of the uh, ending is definitely I wanted to show how the, well this whole through this whole film I wanted to show how Kato uh, grew, grew up and matured in a way so uh, he begins the film very much alone but he gains his colleagues and friends in the end. And of course I would love to make a sequel if possible. <laughs> <laughs> like Mission Impossible? Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but Mission Impossible Change director. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. もう一つその最後をちょっとあのなんていうんですかね、ちょっと暗く終わらせたのはやっぱりあの当時第二次世界大戦に日本がこう入っていくときに。
リアリスティックなというか現実的なその自分たちのことを見てる人が少なかったっていうことに対する、えー、僕らの世代のなんか思いがあったんですね。So the darker ending, the second ending, I felt that、um, in the film it's the brink of World War II, and I very much feel that、uh, people in Japan who were looking at the country in a very realistic and、um, in a very critical or, or、um, objective way were very few and far between. So I think I wanted to portray that from my generation's standpoint. So, why did the war not be able to 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 be able えー、そこを少しこう入れたいということですね。で、まあ、最後にこう、えー、まあ、ハッピーエンドでしたけど、まあ、Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs>、um, so、uh, I'm really impressed by the、uh, action sequences in this film, and it's so different from、uh, your past uh, films, uh, where there's a lot of music performance, maybe,、um, or kind of comedic scenes.、Um, but here there are really fantastic action scenes. And how did you teach yourself to do this, going from you know, Saitama no Rappa to、uh, Joker Game, which I believe is your biggest budget film to date? それはやっぱりハリウッド映画から学んだというふうですね。So, for instance,、uh, the, the Mr. Kamenashi who played the protagonist, I recommended him a variety of spy films that I personally enjoy for him to watch. And I think that Indonesia is a staff who 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 is a staff So, of course, this was a co production with、um, our team in、um, Indonesia. So,、um, of course, the film The Raid,、um, the, the whole crew that were involved in the film The, film, the Raid、um, was also involved in our filmmaking, and they're very versed in action.、Okay. Fantastic.、Um, at this point, I'd like to、uh, open up questions、uh, to the audience.、Um, so, if anyone has a question for Irie Kantoku about、uh, Joker Game, please raise your hand. We have Uh, two microphones on either side of the stage, so I'll just call on people. How about the woman right here? Hello.、Um, I really enjoyed it. It was very clever, and I have a specific question about one of the scenes. It was the chase scene that was on foot. It was really very detailed, and I loved it. How long did it take to shoot that? あれはえっとシンガポールとインドネシアで撮ってるんですけど、だいたいまあ一週間ぐらいですね。So、uh, that particular scene was shot in Singapore as well as, as, well as Indonesia, so it took about a week.、うん、なるべくこうビルがない角度を探しながら撮ってました。So I had to figure out an angle to shoot from where it wouldn't be blocked by a building.、うん、okay, great. More questions.、Uh, could we have a microphone right here in the center? Hello. I noticed quite a bit of film and particularly spy genre tropes. They were clear to me, which enhanced my enjoyment. I like seeing how it played out. Was there a sort of push and pull between immersion or reminding people that they are, in fact, seeing a movie?
そうですねあのー、あんまりリアルにやりすぎると、えー、こう娯楽にならないんですね。で今現代でやろうとするとあのもうちょっとこうインテリジェンスというかあの、まあ、スノーデンとかそういう話にならざるを得ないんですけど少しファンタジー,ファンタジー,、まあ、タジー色を強くするためにこう過去の時代で描いているというのはありますね。So I could have used a contemporary setting, for instance, I could have referred to Snowden, for instance, and made a, and made a perhaps a little more intelligent film, but I think I needed that element of fantasy, and so I, I, I made the film specifically in a past era, a fictional era. Great, more questions.、Uh, let's see,、uh, could we have a microphone right over here?、Uh, just back to the ending with Yuki and kind of the dark warning, was that part of the novel?、Uh, That was in that you based it on, or is that something that was your input? That dialogue was written by me, the last line. Okay, great.、Um, could we have a microphone all the way to the back? It's a question, not a comment, but it's a question. すごくかっこよくて、すごく面白くて、すごく良かったです。続編期待してます。ありがとうございます。So, uh, not exactly a question, but a comment. It was very cool. It was very interesting, and I can't look. I can't wait for the sequel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great.、Um, could we have a microphone here in the very center?、Uh, the, if you could raise your hand once more. Yeah.、Oh, <laughs> right, right back there. Yeah. Thank you. So, I'm assuming you probably read the book first before you started coming up with ideas for the movie. Was there a specific、uh, like stylistic thing or theme that you wanted to get across the minute you thought of producing this movie or directing this movie? スパイっていうのはすごい現実主義的なんですよね。でそこのえっ、ー、とで戦争を回避するために活動するスパイっていうのもいるんで、うんその彼らの行動っていうものを描きたかったっていうんですね。So I think spies in general are very realistic individuals. And some of the spies, some spies work specifically so that, they, that the country can evade going into war. And I think I, I was very much interested in, 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 in showcasing all these activities that the spies do in order to、uh, make sure that the country stays out of war. Okay, great.、Um, could we have、uh, maybe one more question? Let's see, I have a hand right here on the side. I'm wondering if you would consider a film where there is simply a woman who's the chief spy of the, of the movie. Sure, of course. I mean, Japanese、uh, diplomats、uh, now and then are not, are not immune to the honey trap, so I'm sure, I'm sure I, I can depict that. <laughs> Great.、Um, so、actually, so one more question.、Um, so, do we have anyone who really wants to ask a question for Director Yurie?、Um, let's see, right here at the very front, if you could bring the microphone.、Um, there is a line in the movie early on it is not the samurai way. How did the samurai way, a very Japanese concept, influence your directing and character development in the context of a spy movie? サムライっていうのは結構あの主君のために死ぬとか国のために死ぬそれはあのもう死ぬことが、ま、分かっていてもそのために戦いに行くっていう精神だと僕は考えてるんですね。So the samurai way, as I understand it, is this philosophy of dying for the country, sacrificing yourself for one's ruler. でその精神はそのいいところと悪いところがあって。
、えー、そのまあなんていうんですかね僕の悪いところがその第二次世界大戦に僕は出たと思ってるんですね。And I believe that mindset has pluses and negatives, the negative side and the positive side. And I think the negative side is what contributed to the start of the World War II. The good thing is that I think the good parts of the samurai、uh, mentality or the mindset is that it allows you to be very strict with yourself. It allows you to become very dedicated and stoic with yourself. And I think that's a very positive element. 多分僕らその日本人というのはそのいいところと悪いところの中をこう常になんかえ揺さぶられながら生きているんだろうなって気がしてますね。I feel that Japanese people are constantly wavering between the negative and the positive aspects of the samurai spirit. でもそれがこの映画にどう影響しているかちょっと難しくてわからないですね。But I'm not sure how that influences this particular film. That's a very difficult question. Sorry. <laughs> 僕、剣道でも18年間やってました。ごめんなさい。そうですね、ちょっと今日はヒビロックが来たので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し時間がかかるので、もう少し Thank you very much.